Hi, my name is Daniel Glauber, and I'm going to be addressing a question posed by Sean Enos. In his question, uh, Sean talks about philanthropy, and he introduces what a lot of people see as the main goal of a lot of businesses and corporations, which is to be the most profitable uh, entity that they can be, and asks the question of whether these two things can coexist. And what I think is so interesting about um, the argument put forth in Bill Gates' uh, creative capitalism is that not only does Gates say that these two things can exist, but that, in fact, in order to be the most profitable company, philanthropy or some variant of it uh, is a lot of times necessary. Uh, Gates puts forth a couple reasons for this. For example, um, good reputation and attracting the best employees because employees a lot of times want to work for uh, companies that they believe share their values. But what I think is uh, one of the more interesting points that Bill Gates makes is this idea of discovering or sometimes creating new marketplaces. So an example of this that I can think of, uh, which has happened since the publishing of this article, is Facebook and its campaign to uh, spread the internet and internet connection to more countries and a lot of less developed countries. And Facebook obviously wants to market this as they're just doing a good thing because they want to. But what a lot of people have pointed out is that this helps Facebook because it gives more people access to Facebook. And so in that sense, I think these two things can coexist. And when companies try to look for these new marketplaces, um, it expands the scope of what they're trying to do beyond just those who can afford their product. And not only does it create new customers, but it cre also creates more innovators who can help further this cycle of economic growth that brings more people out of poverty.